All right, I think we're going. How are you doing today? Lovely, I hope. I hope your Tuesday has been has been wonderful to you, and uh, and yeah, that you're doing just great. Things are going all right over here. Doing just the normal, I guess the not normal, not not working uh, stuff. Still on still on vacation. Uh, doing a doing a bit of other stuff. Looking into looking into other things. Um, but uh, yeah. Then just playing a, playing a little bit of Breath of the Wild. I might reserve a bit of time to talk about that one. Looks like Link's still up there. I don't know why I leaned back like that was that probably just looked dumb. Uh, looks like Link is still up there somewhere here. Whoop, 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 whoop. There's another one like over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Maybe we can talk about those on Friday. We'll save that. Yeah, we'll save that. Today though. I had a couple things on the mind, but uh, decided to ask Heather if she had any ideas for what I what I could talk about today. And uh, she just pointed at some pins that she has on her uh, on her wall behind her. And one of the things that was there was a Nintendo Switch pin, um, which um, is actually from one of the pre-launch events for the Nintendo Switch. So prior to prior to most Nintendo consoles coming out. Um, they have these events where they kind of tour, tour around, uh, bringing a bunch of the consoles around, and it's just a kind of a big attraction uh, thing. You would like have a bunch of different like uh, some of them are kiosks, some of them are like just big areas where you can play uh, games that are coming out for the console, or a bunch of demos and things. And one, a lot of the a lot of people were taking a look at I believe it was breath of the wild at that point that was probably the biggest thing and like if you went to the event that is like what you were going to do you were going to wait in line for like the duration of the event um to play breath of the wild and both of us were like yeah let's just take a look at other stuff so i think i think we did some stuff with one two switch that's probably the only reason we bought the game it's because it seemed kind of neat and it was kind of a fun little gimmicky thing to play that like demoed pretty well what the switch can do with motion controls haptic feedback and things like that or the hd rumble rather um and that was kind of neat i think we did just dance whatever the new just dance was uh, at that point um there were a couple indie titles that were there that were kind of neat um and i remember us trying arms for for a while one of those um one of those like setups was just like a place where two people can just kind of duke it out in arms and um one of the i want to say it was a mario kart game it might have been eight deluxe that was that was there so people can just play mario kart on a switch um i think heather played a, a fair bit of stuff over there but i was kind of hanging out at the arms the arms booth for for a while just trying that out like i really really wanted to like that game and like I don't know. It never, never quite, never quite sat with me. Um, but uh, as a part of this event, they had this competition near the end uh, where I don't think I can't I can't remember exactly if we knew knew exactly what each of the each of the things was going to be. It might have just been straight up an arms competition, and I had been uh, playing it for a bit. <clears throat> so. Heather and I, I think it was, I think it was like, and it needed to be like a couples thing. Like if there were, if there were couples in the audience that we would, uh, be a team for, uh, for facing another couple in arms. And both of us were like, yeah, sure. Let's do this, whatever. And, uh, kind of a close call with some of those, but I did end up winning the final round that was in that. Uh, it might not have been couples. It might've just been people who were in couples and then one of the couples had to go up there and do like three rounds of arms or something and it was just best two out of three and just happened to scrape by at the end there and won a uh legend of zelda backpack for heather and she still has that it's not it's like a, it's kind of a small backpack i was kind of if it were like bigger or something that might be something that i end up using but it's it's a very it's kind of a it's kind of a small thing you might be able to fit like a small laptop in it um 
maybe notebooks or like a tablet, things like that. Uh, not not really huge, but is it is some kind of authentic Zelda thing that isn't that's is probably purchasable somewhere. But you, you you end up winning it for free, and it sounds and it feels kind of good. So we got to walk away from that from that event with with a little something to to remember the events by. I think she might actually still have a video of me just flailing my arms around uh, up on stage. She keeps giving me thumbs up from the other side of the room whenever I say something right. So I guess this is a quiz uh, in addition to a story. Um, but before I get things like terribly wrong, I'll stop talking about it, I guess. But yeah, it's kind of neat going to like some of those events. Um, Heather was reminding me that that we had been to one of them before then, but that was for the 3DS. Um, I think there were a there were a couple like demos. I can't really remember all of what um, all of what was available for that one. I remember some kind of submarine game I was playing for a while, but I can't remember what that was called. I keep wanting to say it was like a pilot wings thing, but it's not a pilot wings thing. Um, can't can't recall the name of that one. And there were a few other few other things there, not as memorable as the um as the switch one just because it felt like it felt like a mini e3 type type thing like you have this this huge area and you have a bunch of booths with a a bunch of people who are just trying to get you excited to play games and you could sit down on like really comfy couches and things and there's a bunch of just nintendo themed stuff everywhere and they've got like giant question mark blocks and hats and things that you can wear and just take pictures of to help to like remember the event by and we still have a couple a couple pictures from that i think i was wearing like a donkey kong tie a luigi hat and hitting a a question mark block as as if i were the as if i were luigi or something um but yeah it's just kind of kind of neat things and you get to tell some get, you get some decent stories for at least a little bit heck i'm telling this one years after the fact but i know a lot of my friends were we're like, oh man, you got to try it out. How cool was it? Um, it's always kind of neat being able to kind of bring that around naturally. Like, like, uh, like my friends in general were all people who were not on the not on the fence at all. They were going to get the system, but they kind of bank on you being able to take that information and just spread it, just word of mouth, just all over the place. That sounds like you're just vomiting all over the place, but it kind of is. It's just you're just kind of walking around, and you're just a walking billboard for for the thing afterwards, provided that you're uh, pretty hyped about it. I always think you kind of have to be in like press to like get those, get like invited to those things. But both times we went, both of us weren't in weren't in tech. We weren't. Uh, I don't think either of us were in were in games anymore at that point. Heather might have been a student in it, and I hadn't been doing any kind of design work for that in a long time. So it's really just enthusiasts getting invited to go go try out new stuff but yeah so don't let it don't let it don't let you uh don't get what is it what's the word i'm looking for don't get discouraged if you're not like in the biz as long as you're kind of on their email lists that's usually enough to have a chance at it you're just in the pool and you, you might get you, you might get an email about it so but who knows who knows where where we're at with all the kind of where consoles are some of those days might be coming to an end if we're, if we're moving more towards services. We'll see how all that stuff goes. But that's 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 primary speculation. Just really want to kind of tell a story about that about that event. Kind of kind of neat. Looking forward to days like that again, where where you're not uh, where you're not uh, having to just stay inside away from people all the time. Like just remembering times like that feels feels different in 2020. It's like. I can't even remember what it's like to be around that many people in one place being really excited about something together. Um, that's it feels like so long ago, but I'm sure those times are right around the corner again. Just just got to just got to be patient. Anywho, that's probably enough of that. I'm mainly rambling at this point about uh, how I how I miss going to going to big events and and just being excited with people. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, like I said, even though I'm not, even though I'm on vacation, probably definitely not doing these on Wednesday. We'll stick to the normal Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday schedule as as always. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.